Today I'm going to tell you all about the Welcome to Venice and St. Mark's Basilica tours, and as always, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of the Veneto region. It is built on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. Venice is a city packed with unique history and culture, but if you only have a short amount of time to experience it, then the best way is through these two tours. Your day starts early near the Rialto Bridge, where you'll learn how the city literally grew from the mud of the lagoon. You'll learn to identify the ways that its seaborne origins have influenced history and culture. Nowhere is this demonstrated better than at the bustling Rialto Fish Market, where you'll see professional chefs mixing with home cooks, competing for some of the freshest fish you'll ever see. From there, you'll stroll through the back streets of Venice, passing quiet piazzas and picturesque bridges, occasionally stopping at landmarks like the childhood home of Marco Polo, or popping into churches like San Giovanni Gristomoso to see paintings by Venetian masters Bellini and Sebastiano da Piombo. Along the way, your guide will regale you with the local history and lore to give you a feel for how Venice has evolved and how this centuries-old society has survived for so long. If you really want to see how the locals live, you have to hop on a boat. That's why this tour includes a 30-minute gondola ride that takes you through both busy thoroughfares and quieter residential canals. In this way, you can see Venice the way it was meant to be seen, from the water. After a break for lunch, you'll meet again in St. Mark's Square and stroll into St. Mark's Basilica with pre-reserved skip line tickets. This enormous church is one of the most unique and awe-inspiring in Italy. As you explore it, your guide will explain how a Byzantine-style building came to be Venice's greatest landmark while pointing out some of the more unique stories featured in the golden mosaics that cover the ceilings. Upstairs you'll get to see the famous bronze horses that have been moved inside for various reasons, mostly conservation today. They were stolen by Napoleon in 1797 but returned in 1815. Replicas stand outside in their place. After leaving the horses you'll head out to the balcony for a great view of the lagoon and if the timing is right, you'll witness the clock keepers ringing the bell above the square. Finally, you'll hop across St. Mark's Square to the Doge's Palace, which was once a political nerve center for an empire that stretched across the Mediterranean and into Asia. It was in this building that the Doge, or Duke of Venice, lived, and where he lorded over an empire of immense wealth, but almost no actual land. This wealth is on display all through the palace in ornate decorations and beautiful paintings by Venetian masters like Veronese and Bellini. You also get to see parts of the palace that weren't as nice, like the prisons, and the inside of the bridge of Saz. As you look out, you understand why prison was side before being led downstairs to the cold, dank cells. This is the only way to experience all that Venice has to offer, and I hope you will enjoy this tour as much as we did. Thank you for watching.